Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so it's been some time. I have been a little busy. I've been slightly, slightly involved with another game and I'm pretty sure you guys all hate me and everything else for playing a different game. But I have been playing some Seven Days to Die and for those of you who happen to be my pretty close personal friends and whatnot, you guys know exactly who I've been playing with. That that does not sound right. Uh, yeah, so I, yeah, I've been playing that a little bit. I shouldn't be focused so much on one other game when I have a YouTube series. I, what am I doing? Uh, I, I'm definitely going to get back to putting up more videos and definitely get back to all of that. I just... I, I guess I need a little bit of a break or something. I, I don't know what it was, but I, I feel better now a little bit. Uh, let's see how well I feel. That looks good. I'll go with that, even though I could probably get it closer. Let's line this guy up. But yeah, so I really have been curious as to what you guys have been doing and everything else and I really hope uh yeah everything's been good and you know everything's been good and on the side and you know just been working been having a good time as normal but yeah so let's let's get this thing to the station I did do a little bit of work on the station and I've been doing a lot of work just tidying up things and making sure everything is absolutely perfect and well, at least the, to the best degree possible, but, you know, pretty much everything's been coming together really, really well. I mean, there just hasn't been very much issue in pretty much anything that I've been doing. So, th that has been pretty much the best part about all of this, is I thought there was going to be a lot of compatibility issues as far as different things I w I've sent, and, uh, you know, not being able to connect certain parts, or just the layout not working or not having enough fuel or just a million different issues. I, I think the number one issue on this channel that I think I always talk about is the fuel is, is fuel or you know having an abundance or the lack thereof it's always kind of one or the other. Let's see if I can get this alright yeah that's that's about as close as we're gonna get for right now I'll fix it up as we get closer and it looks like we're going to get it on this pass as well. But there is just so much going on right now. I can barely even see where the station is. There, there we go. Yeah, that, that works out pretty well. I think we'll make some adjustment. Just, bleh. wow. We'll make some adjustment. I can't even say that. We'll, we'll fix it, okay? That, that's what we'll do. Um, what else has been going on? Uh, nothing really too much. I have been trying to get more pictures and stuff as far as taking pictures of the moon and uh, other things. And the moon isn't really in the sky right now, so can't really do any of that. And, you know, I've just been really trying to get out there and try to get some stuff. I ended up going to a local bay area and I was trying to trying to use my telescope there and I got shooed off by the local uh, what are they called the uh, the park rangers I guess they, yeah they told me to get out of there you know because clearly I was up to some kind of very very bad stuff but you know I wasn't I, I give them at least some credibility as far as me not being parked in a proper parking spot and you know, not having a pass to be able to look at the stars. That, that's the one thing I also got to mention. In this state, in, in New York State, uh, at least on Long Island, you need a uh, Stargazer's Pass, which costs $30 just to go out and view the stars at the local parks. Because every park here closes at, uh, what, dusk? Yeah, it's... I, I'm not complaining, but at the same time, I, I understand a little bit, but that is a little bit silly when it comes down to regulation and other things. I, I do get that people that like to do bad things hang out at the parks late at night because, you know, that's the cool thing to do, but um, honestly, I, I don't want to pay money to go into a park in order to just view the stars. I think that is just a bit silly, 
But I, I, I get... With every good law, there's always somebody... Or with every bad law, there's always good intentions, I, I guess you could say. But still, I, I, I makes me angry. Makes me very, very angry. So, hopefully at some point... Oh, God. Slow down. Slow way down. There we go. We're, we're, I, I thought we were going to be getting a lot closer. So, whatever. Just kind of bump this over. We're very close to the station. I kind of am afraid we're going to get close enough to hit it. Which, we don't want to hit that. For as much as... For how sexy the station looks, you do not want to hit that. That, that wouldn't be good. So, let's... Let's just get a little bit closer, and I'm gonna bump over into time warp. That way, we can at least see, because I can't. The only thing I can, without these lights on, the only thing I can see is the. Oh God. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Just cancel that out. Without these lights on on this thing, the only thing I can literally see is the outline of the, this craft against the station. So you know, whatever. Let's see. Knock out this motion. The other thing I've been recently thinking about doing is some kind of a docking tutorial, but I don't know if I'm even going to try with the tutorials anymore. You guys would definitely have to let me know about something like that, because there are a boatload of tutorials out there right now, and I honestly, just one more tutorial, I don't know, would even make a difference. And that's I was considering doing a revamped more advanced version of the tutorials because my tutorials are pretty abysmal when it comes to actually giving you useful information considering at the time i really did not know how to play the game as well as i do now it does cause some issue um you know i i, I do like to say i am not the most experienced player i am no um i don't like to compare myself to the likes of some of the other people on YouTube that also do tutorials and they do a lot of other things involving helping out in the community and whatever. I, I do like to do as much as I can for the community, but I do not like to make the claim that I am the best player or anything like that. So I, I really, when it comes down to YouTube and people's criticisms, uh, definitely a bit annoying in certain areas if you don't know your stuff to a T. So that is kind of one of the main reasons why I don't really touch on tutorials that much anymore. I at least haven't done my advanced, so to speak, version of tutorials. But I, I've, I was considering at some point possibly doing it. You know, if you guys really want it, then I would do it if the demand was there. But I, I really haven't noticed a lot of people really wanting or even caring that much. I do know that there are a lot of people out there who don't know a lot of the controls of this game, which I was thinking of doing just a controls uh, video, just showing every possible configuration of controls. Well, I, I shouldn't do, say configuration, but the configuration, the stock configuration of what the game gives you, just so people know. Because I have encountered a lot of people asking me questions that I would otherwise not really think that, uh, you know, uh, a lot of things that, questions involving certain things of the game that I figured most people would know. Like, one of them being, how do you change craft, and uh, a few different things involving the VAB, and, you know, just, just general stuff. Like, I mean, even at one point for me, I did not even know how to turn on the Kerbal's, uh, what is that thing, the, uh, the lights on their suits, I didn't even know how to turn that on up until recently, but I, I never really cared in the first place, because I, I don't care for lights in this game, so, for as much as I put them on a lot of my things, I mean, I, I do that mostly for aesthetics and for you guys so you can see, but I really don't care about lights, to me, that's just another part that otherwise I could have put something else on there, so... Let's see, just get this pointed up a little bit, and I think we'll be good. We are off by a little bit of a... Not much. I, I just gotta make sure that we're gonna get this guy lined up, like, perfectly, which... Oh, isn't ever the case. Let's see. Alright, that is looking really good. That is actually looking fantastic. 
So let's get this on. And yeah, 45 degree angles. Perfect. Um, that's the other thing I think I get more complaints about than anything. Why do you put the docking ports at the 45, or the, not the docking ports, the RCS ports at 45 degree angles? Just a bad habit, to be honest. Uh, there we go. Cancel out that. And we need to be moving up. Actually, we'll knock it over a little bit. And knock it back. There we go. Now, we need to go... Oh, nope, that's down. I'm trying to figure out the configuration for up. There we go. Up, 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 and away. Perfect. And cancel that out. Oh, God. All right, go forward. Go forth. There we go. Nice and perfect. Now I can actually have some control. I find it easier to control it when I have like a forward momentum or a backward momentum from the docking port because then I can actually kind of see where everything's going and how it is all lining up. When you don't really have any force going forward or backward, I find it a bit hard to keep the control. All right, slow down a lot. All right, we're backing up now. There we go. Nice and slow. Oh god. There we go. Fight it. There we go. Looking amazing. So yeah, I went ahead and I added this panel on. I didn't want to really do two videos adding solar panels. You guys pretty much know what the process would be. It'd be the exact same thing as this. So really saved you guys a video that I could have otherwise done and you know whatever. But yeah, so there's been a few different things that have changed at the station if you guys have noticed. When it comes down to the, just the overall setup, the one thing I will say is I ended up kind of opening all these things up. I didn't really do any of that the last episode. I kind of just wrapped it up real quickly, which I kind of apologize for, but I didn't mean to do it that way. And I added a tank here and the tank here, which I don't think it's going to stay here. I just left it here until the station is fully operational 100% complete then I'll start moving tanks around and all that other stuff but I just docked it here just to save it because this thing I have debris set to zero so if this was just floating in space it would have been gone already so uh, the other thing too is another ooh, this thing is rocking a bit too much for my liking I'll turn off the SAS maybe that will fix it and uh, turn on time warp too there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'll probably turn the SAS back on. I don't know what it was rocking for. It's probably just rocking because there's a, it's not very stable on this end over here, but that, that's a different story. And also the docking probably kind of jarred the whole station a little bit too much. But yeah, I, I've been moving around stuff and just kind of changing stuff. I think that this tank will end up staying in its location. Most of these tanks, at least this one, is completely full the rest of this stuff is pretty much all full too. There's a few little smaller tanks here and there that I have. Usually I use these mostly because I don't like the docking port. It, it, it looks better with the docking port because it, otherwise it clips through these uh, structural parts and it just doesn't look good. So these little ones I'm, I'm not very concerned about. Oh look at that, there's one that's actually empty. But yeah, so the, it's, it's the whole station as far as the whole setup and everything. Everything's looking pretty good. There's no real, once again, I said there's really no issues that have been have been caused after all of this stuff. But anyways, guys, uh, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come until you new people welcome. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.